Uh, welcome again to uh, English Bites, and here we are at a, a nice Chinese restaurant. Um, nice. I'm here with Duncan, and uh, hello, everybody. <laughs> and uh, as with every other episode of English Bites, um, I'm going to throw a few phrases over to Duncan uh, to see if he can explain it in a nice way for all you watchers and viewers and that sort of thing. So um, I've got ten phrases here. Okay. And because we're at a restaurant, I thought we could do food-related phrases. Okay. And, uh, yeah. So, are you ready? As ready as I'll ever be, Martin. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, our first phrase here, our first phrase today. Okay. Um, selling like hotcakes. Ah, selling like hotcakes. Well, selling like hotcakes. Hmm. Means basically when you have uh, products and uh, they sell very, very, they sell very, very quickly. Mm -hmm. uh, we say in English it sells like hotcakes. So basically, you have a hot cake and you're passing it on. Yeah. So in other words, something is uh, very, very hot and you pass it on very quickly to get it out of your hands. Absolutely. So yeah, selling like hotcakes is like passing a hot cake yeah. on from one person to another. You know, like the uh, the smartphones these days, they sell like hotcakes as soon as yeah. they're released. It's like you see an iPhone, they've, they've gone like hotcakes off the shelf. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, that was phrase number one. Okay. Are you ready for phrase number two? Bring it on. Bring it on. Okay, phrase number two, living on the bread line. Ah, living on the bread line. So, how do we uh, describe what living on the bread line is? Living on the bread line is uh, where people live in society today. And perhaps they don't have enough money to uh, enjoy the luxurious things or the nice things in life. Mm -hmm. And uh, they can only afford maybe a loaf of bread to survive. Yeah. So a loaf of bread is seen as the benchmark. Can you afford more than to feed yourself and look after yourself? Uh, if you can't, then you're living on the bread line. Absolutely. Yeah. So those without, you know, which are pretty poor, I guess. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's, a, it's, a, it's a euphemism for people that are poor. Yeah. Okay, right. So that's phrase number two. Phrase number three here, um, we've got food for thought. <laughs> I love food that gives me thought. <laughs> <laughs> Too much sometimes. Too much sometimes, yeah. yeah this is what I do with the belly. <laughs> so food for thought refers to uh, when someone gives you an idea and it makes you think about things. So yeah. basically you're feeding your ideas and you're thinking about the idea. Yeah. So you've got, someone's giving you food for your thoughts, so food to feed your ideas. Yeah. And uh, Martin gives me lots of food for thoughts with some of the things he comes up with, <laughs> some of the things he likes to introduce me to. Yeah, absolutely, why not, eh? <laughs> food for thought. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, so good ideas, you know, or things to do, they give you food for thought and some things that you, you, you can look forward to. Yeah. yeah. Okay, uh, where are we? So we've done three phrases. Uh, fa uh, fa I can't speak now. <laughs> Thrays, thres, no, that doesn't work. Phase. Phase, thank you. God, who's the teacher? Who's the teacher? <laughs> yeah, okay, phase number four. Phase? No, phrase. God damn it. Phrase number four. A piece of cake. Uh, same phrase as a piece of cake <laughs> if you're not me yeah. a piece of cake basically means English yeah. uh, easy in English sorry. Uh, so something uh, I've done that really easily you say I've done that as a piece of cake Yeah, so yeah. it really means something's easy or something's very easy to do yeah. um, probably because a piece of cake is like a reward at the end of a meal so, yeah. so if you've done it well or done something good you have a piece of cake absolutely um, we've also got another sort of short phrase that we use um, in English when we say something is pretty easy we can say easy peasy lemon uh, squeezy yeah? easy peasy lemon squeezy yeah. yeah I've got no idea where that phrase came from no <laughs> <laughs> okay right number five not my cup of tea not my cup of cha. I was about to say cha. <laughs> Not my cup of tea. Not my cup of tea is when you uh, uh, don't like something or don't disagree or disagree with something. Mm. And uh, yeah, basically, it's not my cup of tea. Absolutely. You should imagine it comes from the old colonial days where there's many different types of tea. There's mm -hmm. a still are today. 
And uh, yeah, you don't like it, so it's not my cup of tea. True, true. Um, so you people that are watching, what what sort of things aren't your cup of tea? I guess you know, there's various things that you don't like to do, or various things that you don't enjoy. So what, yeah, yeah. What's your, what's your cup of tea? What's your cup of tea? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. Phrase number six: to go pear shaped. <laughs> to go pear shaped. Mm. When things go wrong, things go pear shaped. Yes, they do. Yeah. So uh, to, to go pear shaped means that something's gone wrong or something's gone uh, out of control or mm. something you can't control. Uh, it probably comes from uh, an old sort of saying that things go around nice and neatly in circles. True. And a pear has a little bit of a, it's a bit of a circle, but a blip. A blip, yeah. <laughs> a blip at the top. So it's all gone pear shaped. It's not nice and round and easy. Yeah, yeah. So pear shaped things have gone wrong. There's another phrase as well that we use in English when we describe something that's gone wrong. It's a sort of a, a London, um, what do we call it? Rhyming slang. Rhyming slang, yeah. yeah. So gone Martin and Lysus. You, you know what it is? No, go on. No, no, it's all gone Pete Tong. Oh, it's all gone Pete Tong. <laughs> 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 and so Tong rhymes with wrong, of course. Yeah, of course yeah. it does, yeah. Dong. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. okay. Right. Um, next one, number seven, phrase number seven, as cool as a cucumber. Ah, uh, see, Martin, as a presenter, is as cool as a cucumber. Mm. See, oh. he knows how, to, uh, no nerves there, <laughs> cool as a cucumber basically means you are a cool customer, you are a nice, calm, relaxed customer. Yeah. And uh, probably the same for where cucumbers kept in a fridge, yeah. always used as a, as a vegetable to go in a drink that calms you down or relax. Yeah, yeah. So what sort of drink would this go in, Mark? Uh, gin and tonic, wouldn't it? Uh, cucumbers. Gin and tonic or yeah. uh, Pims and lemonade. Yeah, Pims and lemonade, yeah. yeah. So yeah. as cool as a cucumber. Yeah, yeah. Nice and calm. Nice and nice relaxed. Yeah. yeah. Okay, um, phrase number eight. To be cheesed off. <laughs> 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 to be cheesed off. Well, I'm pretty cheesed off, Martin. I'm not getting paid for this. <laughs> <laughs> paid by food, I hope. Paid by food. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so to be cheesed off, you're, you're angry, you're annoyed, you're, uh, you're, you're upset about something. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a well-known British phrase. Yeah. Um, yeah, cheesed well, off. Cheesed off, yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, if I if I say a bad joke, you'll be cheesed off because I've wasted your time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. Excellent. Right. Well, excellent. Okay, so the next phrase is to have egg on one's face. <laughs> <laughs> to have egg on one's face is not literally to have an egg on one's face. Yeah. <laughs> to have egg on one's face means that uh, you... You're embarrassed about something. Something's uh, gone wrong and uh, you feel... I uh, feel embarrassed, you go red, you're upset. Yeah. But yeah. not upset in a nasty way, upset in a, in, a, in, a, in a nice way. Yeah. Yeah, so, so basically you're embarrassed by a situation or something's gone wrong and and uh, uh, it's, it's funny. Yeah, yeah, to have egg on one's face. You made a sort of boo boo, a, a, a mistake, slip up. a slip up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Okay, well. That brings us to our final phrase, and today's phrase, our final phrase is, in a pickle. Ah, in a pickle. Yeah. <laughs> You're in a pickle when uh, um, something's gone wrong and you don't know where to turn to, basically. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or you're dazed and confused, you could be in a pickle. Yeah, <laughs> true, that's true. Yeah, so in a pickle means you're in a bit of a situation. Mm. You don't really know how to get out of it, or mm. or uh, you're looking for a way out because you, you feel a bit pickled. Sure, of course, yeah. of course. So you you you're in a you've got a problem, you've got a situation, you're you're you're, you're stuck, and you're Correct. you're in a pickle. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, a common situation is if you've you know you're dating, and you're double dated. You're oh. in a pickle then. You're in a bit of trouble there, yeah. Martin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that, you know, it's a problem that you can't really fix. Um, it, that's in a pickle, but yeah, that was our last phrase. Um, okay. There, so, is a, there is another saying for in a pickle, Martin. Is there? Yeah. Go on then. No, go on, after you. <laughs> after me. <laughs> <laughs> See, now Martin's in a bit of a pickle because <laughs> he doesn't know what to say. <laughs> right, okay. Um, <laughs> 
Okay, if I don't get this right, I'll have egg on my face. Yeah, that's correct. <laughs> <laughs> and okay. if, you, if you get this completely wrong, it's flops, you'll be on the bread line. <laughs> uh, okay, right, okay. Um, up a creek without a paddle? Yes, very good. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Is that what? <laughs> yeah, it's exactly the same thing. Perfect. <laughs> well, you've learnt two phrases for the last one, eh? <laughs> Double the value of Martin, that's what you get. <laughs> right, okay, well... I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks, Duncan, for coming over. Thanks for inviting me, Arthur. That's all right. Um, Yeah, Uh, I hope you had a nice meal. Great. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, recommend it to anybody. Yeah. Yeah. Any food? Not your cup of tea here? No, no, no. Everything was (laughs) marvellous. It was. Yeah. (laughs) Well, um, we hope to see you again with all our viewers. It was great having you here. Don't forget to like and share Martin's post. Thank you. Also to comment on it. Yeah. He is, uh, he is a very uh, very intelligent teacher, I'm sure. Oh, cheers. <laughs> <laughs> You're picking me up now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that uh, you'll enjoy his posts going forward. Yeah, thank you. So hit the subscribe button if you haven't, and hit the notification bell. It should tell you when our next video is up, I guess. And yeah, I hope to see you here in a future episode of English Bites. Yeah, of course. Yeah, thank you. My pleasure. Okay, well, take care. Um, and goodbye to all our viewers and hope to see you next week in a future episode goodbye yeah bye bye